How's it going guys? Today is a great day because even though the announcement's a little bit late, I would have uh, made a video last week, but I got a little bit busy. But thinking about the good news that we had for the Oscars, Joker won for Best Actor, Walking Phoenix. So it's not even the idea, unfortunately, it wasn't you know Best Movie or Best Screenplay or whatever the other awards were. It's the fact that Joaquin Phoenix won the Best Actor Oscar for Joker. And so what does this mean for, for Hollywood? I hope that this sends a message that the go woke, go broke idea needs to die forever because it is very stupid. And a lot of those go woke, go brokes that they spent a lot of money on to push those movies out and to get audiences to go see the movies are failing and guess what a movie that had such a hate campaign pushed behind it that people were trying to ban the movie from the theaters that were trying to in any way shape or form relate it to the um aurora shootings in colorado for the movie theater they're trying to relate it to all these different things they're relating it to mass uh shootings and guess what Nothing happened because the movie, there was no mass shooting that came out. There was no theaters that had huge issues. There was nothing bad that came from this movie, but an Oscar. That's it. You know, it made over a billion. It is the highest grossing movie, an R-rated movie ever. And it was literally just an origin story movie for a person that was called Joker. Not for the Joker, but for someone who was called Joker. And it was amazing. I'm so happy that this movie not only did successfully at the box office, but and as well as being reviewed by, you know, critics, the ones that are able to get past the whole, oh, well, this is going to start an upright of this, that, this, that, that. But people that are actually are able to think critically and to be able to think also logically. It was very well received. It is a very loved movie. And it's just doing very well in general. And now it has an Oscar attached to it. How awesome is that for being able to now hopefully give Hollywood the idea that, yes, you need to get back to just making good movies. Stop trying to force feed bullshit agendas down everyone's throat because we don't care about that anymore and it is just becoming it, it's becoming an issue i mean look at the uh birds of prey movie that just came out it's it's bombing hard at the box office because they're and what they're trying to do is do the same exact thing that they did with charlie's angels and they're trying to blame men for not seeing it when it was not intended for men to see it i mean i've made tons of videos on stuff like this. The Charlie's Angels one, I'll link it here. Um, just from recording this, the previous video I just did is about how we had Birds of Prey fans trying to blame Sonic the Hedgehog for the failure of audiences no longer being interested to go see it. And that video I'll link up here. But I mean, the main thing is, what is this going to do for Hollywood? I don't know. But I hope that this message sent to them that they need to just get back to making good movies. And if you see the movies that have been super agenda-based and seeing their success or lack thereof, are you going to keep investing so much money into those movies to not get a return on it? Because nobody wants to go see that. Nobody wants... People want to go to the movies to be entertained. And... Uh, Ricky Gervais even said, too, people don't go to the cinema anymore. They don't. I mean, honestly, I have a fire stick. I don't even know where my freaking remote is, but I have a fire stick. Yeah, I was watching Shrek. Um, I have a fire stick. I don't go to the theaters anymore unless it's something I really want to go see. Like when Godzilla vs. Kong comes out, I'm going to go see that. And then when um, Spiral comes out, I'm going to go see that. But other than that, I don't go to the theater. Why do I need to? You know, it's... I have would rather just stay home and I could watch a movie while I have, you know, a little tablet for my son to be able to watch his sensory videos and I can watch a movie while I'm taking care of him. I don't need to be able to leave the house unless I really want to go see something. So 
you know, it's this is something that hopefully is going to be the trend moving forward in the right direction because so many people were against this movie. So many people were upset with the success of Joker or just even the fact that the Joker movie was coming out and we're really trying to push for even having Warner Brothers as a studio be giving money to anti uh, anti gun uh, campaigns to you know going against the NRA to have an agenda that they're trying to push and it's like that's not their job that is not for them to do and I get it shootings are terrible and it's horrible that people are affected by it let alone people are killed because of you know people with mental issues or people that just have their own agenda in mind and they are harming others and killing them it's horrible but this movie did not do any of that. It did not incite any riots. It did not incite any mass shootings. It did not incite any um, or push for, you know, anything negative towards guns. It's a movie, an origin story about Joker. It's not going to be sunshine and rainbows. It's going to be dark, especially with how the character really was portrayed by Joaquin Phoenix of having mental issues, but he still trusts trying to overcome them. And he's he got an Oscar for it. This is a step in the right direction. And I hope that you guys watching this, that you will be able to continue to support movies like this and to help with getting Hollywood back on track. It's going to take a very long time and it might take a thousand steps, but this is the first one in the right direction. And I hope that other movies will follow suit. And we can end this SJW crap forever because it's just not going to work. It's proving itself that it's not going to work. And they're failing their own agenda because they're relying on movies that are already successful with a footing, with you know being grounded and rooted with their own history, with their own fan base, with their own following, and trying to take it over. I did a, move, a video on that. I'll link it here if you guys want to see it. But they're failing their own agenda and not even realizing it, which is even funnier than just them failing themselves. But what do you guys think? Are you guys excited? Are you guys, you know, hoping to have more movies like this follow suit? And just what are you guys' thoughts in general? Not just on the Oscars, but as far as movies coming out these days, what do you guys feel about them? And uh, I'm curious to see what you guys see in the movies and what you guys think about just everything that's been going on over the last couple of years, because obviously the last couple of years has been pushed towards, you know, me tooing things and time's up and just agendas in general. But leave your comments down below. If you like this video and want to see more, please hit the subscribe button and hit the bell notification to be notified whenever a new video goes up. And if you like this video, please give it a like and a share so that way we can continue to grow the channel to be able to do more videos like this for you guys. And I will see you guys in the next video. Take care.